Welcome everybody, dear participants, dear guests. I hope that everyone can hear me. And I would like to welcome you to our second online seminar that we offer in cooperation with a German university in this year. I'm pleased that you are here with us today and will be spending the next 60 minutes. My name is Salha Neja and I work for the DAD office Tunis. I'm very happy uh, to have uh, our guests today with us. We have Mr. Kali and Ms. Uh, Tobis who will together um, uh, represent the University of Koblenz-Landau and we will get further information about the study programs at uh, Koblenz-Landau and all other information which are related to this topic. If you have already attended one of our online seminars, then you certainly know that um, our online seminars are always interactive. This means for you that you will get lots of information, you will get lots of input, but you will have at the end the opportunity to um, interact with us, to ask written questions or oral questions. And uh, we will offer you later the question and answer part so that you can tape your questions directly with the presentation. Our colleagues from koblenz landau University also have prepared for you some um, uh, useful information sheets and, and flyers. We will offer them to you also at the end of the presentation. And you have seen maybe that uh, you find here three polls. So please take part in the polls um, that uh, our colleagues could see who is the target group in which you are uh, exactly interested and so on. Um, one final point, uh, maybe you know it already, we always uh, register and record our, um, our online seminars that they will uh, at the end available on our YouTube channel, the ARD Tunisie, and um, um, it will be available normally in a couple of days. Um, now I wish you an informative and exciting um, seminar, and I would like to give you now the floor. I think, Ms. Tobis, you want to begin. Hello. Uh, so I will start the presentation here now. So I am Ines Tobes. I'm the head of the Welcome Center. Um, I will tell you now something about the University of Kogens Landau. So that's where we are located in Germany, in the heart of Europe. And our university is located in the state of rhineland palatinate that's in the southwest of Germany, uh, near to the, to the border to France and Luxembourg. Uh, so we have three locations, Koblenz, Mainz and Landau, well, two campuses, one in, one in Koblenz, one in Landau, and in Mainz there's, there's the administration. But we are now talking about Koblenz. So Koblenz is located in a very nice area. It is called the Upper Middle Rhine Valley. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site with a lot of castles, the Rhine River, there are a lot of hiking facilities. So it's a nice place to stay. So the city of Koblenz, is, it is an old city. It's more than 2,000 years old. It was founded by the Romans, there, and it has a lot of water. So there are two rivers meeting in the middle of Koblenz. So therefore, we also have a lot of tourists coming here. Um, as you can see on the right, on the top, there's also a castle, and it's a nice area and nice cities to, to stay. So the University of Koblenz Lande is a very young university. It was founded in 1990. We have about 18,000 students, 170 professors, and eight faculties, four in Koblenz, four in Lando. In Koblenz, we have education, arts and humanities, mathematics and science, and computer science. So here's the picture. 
of the university campus. It is one small and modern campus. So it is, as you see the picture here, it is, it is quite nice. And we will be happy to welcome you here. Okay, I will hand over to Mr. Karle now. Yeah, thank you, Ines. Um, and also from my side, uh, a warm welcome to our presentation of our study program, Mathematical Modeling, Simulation and Optimization. Uh, my name is Christian Kalla. I'm one of the organizers, so to speak, for this program. And I would like to show you a little bit around through our program. So this program is, as the name tells you, it's a mathematical program. And so it's located in the Mathematical Institute. Um, a mathematical institute has a, around 700 bachelor students and around 100 master students, 10 PhDs. And we have three major research groups. And the research groups which are taking part in our, this program are optimization on the one hand and modeling on the other hand, as we will also see later. And we are part of a European consortium for so this ECMI network and European network. Um, ECMI, which is European Consortium for Mathematics in Industry, so that we have a, a direct connection and uh, the aim to treat problems that, that are relevant for industrial topics. So our program is a two years master program in English, taught in English. It's international program, so we aim at international students from all over the world, also from this um, network that of universities, this ECMI network. It has three main topics, namely the mathematics at the center of the program. And with application, you can say, in the fields of physics, or computer science. Um, throughout this project, you will have typical lectures and so courses, lectures, and so on. But we will also have some student projects, case studies, research, research projects, in which small groups of students start during their studies working on some real world problems or some case studies. Admission requires a bachelor, so it's a master's program, so you need to have a bachelor's uh, degree. And the final degree is a master of science, which with which you typically might go into research and development in industry or in the direction of a PhD. The main topics, so it is a course-oriented program. And the main topics, as I already mentioned, we have the main groups that are involved in this program are, uh, are modeling, the modeling group and the optimization group. So this means that this course has a has a strong uh, point on differential equations. So how to to model with these kind of equations and how to treat these equations. And on the other hand, on the continuous optimization in industry, opt this is typically called operations research. In our in the mathematical world, it's called optimization. And this, based on this core, mathematical core of this program, you then choose electives in mathematics to get into touch with other fields from mathematics, but also from physics, so some applications, so to speak, or informatics, um, where we have a strong group in informatics available. We have this project seminar, so this uh, groups where students work together on projects. And of course, you have a master thesis at the end. So let me present you one of our students' projects during, their, during the um, master pro program. So this was a project on soil erosion. It was a project in cooperation with the Department of Geo Geoscience and with the Department of Computer Science. 
So an interdisciplinary work and the aim was to general or to calculate or estimate based on such pictures of such an eroded soil the amount of soil that was lost by erosion. And this was treated by four master students in one sem during one term. And there was a complete picture so from starting from the real world eroded soil that you see in, in nature get, uh, making uh, making or creating sufficient or measurements of this um, situation, generating a model out of this, this uh, situation that you can then can treat with mathematical um, concepts to measure or to estimate uh, the volume of this uh, con uh, of this, for example, and at the end you get some outcome, estimate, and so on. So this might be an example of what, of <coughs> how, uh, that how, that this, is, that this really is a very applied program. Um, admission requirements, so as I mentioned, a bachelor degree, which is preferable in mathematics, physics, or computer science. And it is also possible to have to start with an engineering background, but it is. I always have to stress that this is a mathematical program, so it's really a program where you learn mathematics, where you have, and where is where the main part is the mathematics behind this, and the mathematics of modeling, simulation, and optimization. It's possible to preliminary enroll, so to enroll and start the program later. Enrollment dates are, tip, are roughly one a half a year. Well, the enrollment dates for winter is in June and for summer it's in uh, December and uh, Ines Tobis will mention a little bit more on this topic. And this is a completely English taught program, where which means that we require that you have a certain or that you have a certain degree of English um, property, uh, English properties on your language available. This level B two or if your bachelor was taught in English, which would also be sufficient. What can you do with such a program? So you might go and might proceed with a PhD in applied mathematics. For example, in the fields of optimization, or as I mentioned, also called operations research, in the field of optimal control, which is, so to speak, a subtopic of optimization, where we, where we tr treat physical real-world program uh, processes in a way such that they behave like as we are, um, we prefer. We have a strong field of biomathematics, and especially from the, from the simulation parts, we have the numerics for partial differential equations or the modeling part. Also in this direction, a PhD might be possible. We have industrial and external partners, so it's possible to write your master thesis at an, in, in industry. And we have some contacts available here, for example, to the uh, Institute for, Med, uh, for Medicine Technology of to the central hospital of the German army, which is, really, is close by, or general university medicine, which then is located in Mainz, or in, so this would, would be the medical part. You can go to industry, so BASF, so a large um, company for chemical, uh, for, yeah, for chemical company. Siemens, I think, is also known from in, quite known. You might go in the direction of some ABB, AMS, VDS, and so on. They are either producing um, parts for cars or they are cons uh, uh, securing um, events, for example, or also in the direction of their yeah, social, at the end, it's social mathematics to treat event, uh, e large events, Ministry of the in Interior Police Department or Federal Ministry of Education Research in general. 
if you want if you want to contact us you can use either any of these email addresses or preferable um, the email address that I'm writing in the chat which is mmso at uni oops, Koblenz.de, which is a general email which will be read by all of us. Or you visit our web page, so it's a rather long web page, so I generated a tiny URL for that, where you'll find any additional information, contact information, and so on. And with this, um, I'd like to hand over to Ines oh, Tobes. So I'm back here. So here you can see a picture of one of our events. I will tell you now something about the application process and also how the Welcome Center will support you. So the Welcome Center supports international master students, doctoral students and scholars. So we offer for individual and practical support with non-academic matters. Regarding academic matters, you will have to address Mr. Kala. So if you think you're convinced now that's a good idea to uh, study at the University of Koblenz Lana, we would be happy to welcome you here. So then you will have to apply. So I will tell you something about the, about the application procedure. So uh, it takes you have to apply via UniAssist. That's an external organization. UniAssist uh, checks the documents for almost all German universities. Well, it takes up to eight weeks until you get your admission letter after you have applied. That means for the winter semester. If you want to apply, you have to apply until the 15th of June but it is recommended to apply earlier. So it would, if you're planning to start your studies in the next coming winter semester, you should apply until the 15th of May at the latest. And for the summer semester, so the last application deadline is the 15th of December. However, due to the long visa application process, it is recommended to apply until the 15th of November at the latest. So for the visa application, uh, three months and even more is needed. So the entire application process takes at least five months. So apply um, early enough. So here you can see a picture of the whole application process. So that shows you that it is quite a long time that you have to plan in advance. Okay, fees and living costs, very, very, uh, very important. So there are no tuition fees at German universities. So education should be uh, free for everybody in Germany. So, but there are monthly living costs for rent, food, health insurance, clothes, and so on, of about 861 euros per month. That is what you need to support yourself. And to get, in order to get a visa, you will have to show the, to the German embassy that you are able to finance yourself and you will have to show that you have the money available in a blocked account of 10 and that for one year that you have the money available for one year and that's 10,332 euros. Each semester you will have to pay your a semester contribution fee but that's not tuition fee that's a fee for student services to the student union and the public transport in Koblenz and surrounding. And that fee has to be paid by every German and international student enrolled and it amounts about 230 euros every semester. So international students, they are getting a visa with, a, with their visa, also a working permission. 
So students having a residence card for studying are allowed to work part-time. And many of our students uh, are doing that. So here you see the living expenses per month. They you can see for rent and utilities, that's a very big part in Germany. So you will have to pay 350 up to 450 euros per month for an apartment. So how do we support you? So before your arrival, we support you during your application process via UNISYS. We support you during your visa process. We help you find accommodation, for example, in dormitory or on the private housing market. After your arrival, we have a buddy program for the new international students. Um, they will pick you up at Koblenz train station. So we always have an orientation week before the semester starts. And we support you with administrative matters, like with the local authorities, the health insurance, the enrollment process, and so on. And we have also an introduction to German academia, as you're from a different academic background. Um, to, you will have to learn what, what's expected from students at German universities. Oops. Oh, sorry. On the spot in Koblenz. So we also offer excursions to Bonn, Mainz and other cities. We have international cooking events, international evenings, Christmas events and the Bastogne University. And in the summer, we always have 5,000 meter city run. So there we are with an international team and you're welcome to participate there. So the Language Learning Center. Sprechen Sie Deutsch? Do you speak German? Well, for a success start in German, it's useful to learn German. The Language Learning Center offers each semester German language courses for free and also other possibilities of learning languages with the Language Cafeteria and the Language Tandem program. So we have another special offer. Uh, make it in Germany, your access to the German labor market. So we try to assist the international students finding a job, a job in Germany. So what do we offer? So we offer workshops. We are, each, each summer semester we have a, we are visiting the technology center in Koblenz so that is located right next to the campus. So we have company visit and also a business speed dating. So our workshops are welcome to Germany, your access to the German labor market, working and living in Rhine and Palatinate, do's and don'ts regarding the German job application process, and how to successfully start your own business. And our cooperation partners are the Federal Employment Agency, the Chamber of Industry and Commerce, the Camp Technology Center Koblenz, the startup office of the university, and local companies as Compobooks or SHD or AFPT. So if you have further questions, please do not hesitate to contact me. Um, so here are my contact details. And the students that you can see here, they already finalized their studies. One of them went back to the, to the home country. The other three are working. But two of them are in Berlin, one is in Munich. So, eh? uh, so that could be also your future career. So I'm looking forward to your questions. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ms. Tobis and Mr. Kale. Maybe, Ms. Tobis, can you try to switch on your camera again? It would be nicer to see you. Oh, very nice. Thank you. So, thank you very much for all this informative uh, info you have given to us.